this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your Razer headset is not working or connecting. Now, this is going to work on all different models of Razer headphones. So whether you have the Barracuda model, or maybe you have the Kraken or the Black Shark model, it's going to work on all these different models of headsets. Now, the very first solution is that you need to make sure your headphones are fully charged. So you can do that just by using the USB cable that should have came with your headphones. You can go and connect one end into a USB port. I'll just be using my computer. And you can go and connect the other end into your headphones. Now, when your headphones are charging, you should see a red light and that indicates that the headphones are actually charging. So you can now just leave them on charge for around about an hour. And once you've done that, you can check to see if it solves the issue. Now, the next thing we're going to try is disconnecting and reconnecting the headphones. So I'll be showing you this on a computer, but this will also work if you're trying to connect the headphones to a gaming console or something like that. Now, the very first thing you need to do is go and open up the start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, select Bluetooth and devices and just make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and enabled. Now if you've previously connected your headphones then they should appear in this list of Bluetooth and devices. So once you've found your headphones from here you can click on the three horizontal dots next to them and then just go and press remove device. Once you've removed your headphones go and press add device, select Bluetooth and now just make sure your headphones are actually turned on. So we're going to hold down the power button until you see this green light. Once you see the green light on your headphones, it should turn into a blue light, and this indicates that the Bluetooth is turned on. So as soon as you see this blue light, you can then go and release the power button, and you should see your Razer headphones appear in this list of devices. You can go and select them to connect like so. Now, if this also doesn't solve the issue, the next thing you can try doing is installing the Razer Synapse software. So this is basically the official Razer software that allows you to control the settings on your headphones. Now to do this go and open up an internet browser and we're just going to type in Razer Synapse Download and press enter. You can then click on this top website and then you need to scroll down and press download for Windows. Obviously if you're using Mac you can download the Mac version. Then click on your downloads folder and go and open up this installation file. Now from here, we can simply go through the steps to install this onto our system. So I'm just going to press continue, click on Razer Synapse in the top left hand side, uncheck the box next to Razer Chroma app unless you want to install this as well, and then just press install. You can then press skip and just give that a couple of seconds while it downloads to your computer. Once it's finished downloading, go and press the launch button. You can either log into your account or continue as a guest. Now, once you're on this application, close out of this window. You can then click on the drop down next to devices. So what you'll need to do is go and connect your headphones using a USB cable and they should appear in this device list in the top left hand side. Once you've connected them, you can just make sure they're enabled and also turned on. And once again, you can check to see if that solves the issue. Now, if you have tried all of the steps in this video and it's still not working, the final solution is just to come down to your taskbar and right click on your volume icon. You can then press sound settings. Click on the drop down arrow next to output and make sure you have the correct headphones selected. So you can see I have my Razer headphones selected at the bottom. You can also do the same for input as well. So if you want to use your headphones microphone, then just make sure you have your headset selected in this list. Finally, we can scroll down to click on more sound settings next to playback make sure your headphones is turned on and enabled. You may also want to set these as the default device by clicking on set default. You can also do the same for the recording tab if you want to go and enable your headset's microphone. And once you're finished with that, just go and press apply and okay. And it's really as simple as that guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.